story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Hey, my froze, it's me, Gina, and as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video, I am comparing the Mayo Organics Overnight Hair Mask with the Main Choice Overnight hair mask so i'm not gonna ramble on too long in this intro we're just gonna get straight into this video but before we get into this video if you have not joined our smart pro family what are you waiting for make sure you hit the subscription button as well as the notification button so you don't miss out on any new uploads and let's get into this comparison review so on this side i'm going to put in the myo organics and like I said, I've tried this Mayo Organics product before and I really, really liked it, especially overnight. And so it just made me curious to see how it compares to the main choice uh, deep conditioner. Just because the main choice, at least for me, makes great deep conditioners. And so I just wanted to see how it pairs up. I haven't used I haven't used the main choice deep conditioner in a really long time so one thing i like about this myo organics deep conditioner is i get a lot of slip i get a lot of slip it kind of does that like foam me up type thing but it makes it really easy to actually detangle and i think i mentioned this in my other video like when i look at the ingredients i don't see anything extravagant and one thing i will notice is that from comparing both of the products when I compare them ingredient wise if you look at the main choices ingredients you know the products you know how they all have the name of what they claim at least with the main choice the product that's in the title is like within the first few ingredients and I can say that with this my own organics the ginger is definitely at the end of the ingredient list. So I don't even know how much ginger, like it's probably a dash, like a of ginger actually in this product because it's definitely at the bottom of the list. I feel like if you're gonna market something as a product, it should definitely be within like the first five ingredients. So that is a kind of turn off for this product, but it is still a good deep conditioner. It's fairly cheap. Um, I will put the prices matches because I know the main choice deep conditioner was $16.99. It rung up to be like $18 with tax. And I think this Myo Organics was like maybe $14 or maybe $12.99. I did get this Myo Organics deep conditioner for 50% off. They were having a sale on their site and that's when I purchased like all their products. Just because I realized I've never tried a full collection of my own products so I wanted to do that okay so now on this side I'm going to go in with the pre curly clear which like all main choice deep conditioners smells really good this my own organics really doesn't have that much of a smell to it so I'm going to use another detangler just because that other tangle teaser needs to be clean and I don't want to mix the products. So definitely getting a lot of slip. And I'll probably have the comparison of these Tangle Teaser. Because this is also else this is also a Tangle Teaser video up. So if that video is up before this, I will link that in the cards as well. So you can check that out if you want to know which Tangle Teaser I feel is the better Tangle Teaser. I feel like I'd have to, I feel like. The main choice definitely gives me a lot more slip. I feel like I got through that little section of hair fairly quickly. Definitely getting a lot more slip right off the bat. I can also say the main choice deep conditioner is thicker. So I feel as though because it's thicker, a little of it can go a long way. And for a thick deep conditioner, it still spreads fairly nicely. It is also doing that foam up thing that the Myo Organics deep conditioner did. And I'm wondering is that because they're both supposed to be like overnight deep conditioners? And maybe that's that helps. 
probably helps prevent moisture overload or something. Cause it's definitely like foaming up. Not as much as the Myo Organics. Definitely not as much as that one. But it is foaming up in my hand. And so after I finish this, I'm just going to sleep in this. I'm going to place like two plastic bags on my head. And then I have one of those like slap caps, those Bracelia satin caps. And I'm going to put that on. And then I'm just going to sleep in it overnight. It is about 10 o'clock. So I'm probably just going to rinse this out first thing in the morning and then get back on camera and kind of let you guys know my final thoughts. So on this side of my head, I'm currently still overnight deep conditioning. I'm getting ready to rinse this deep conditioner off. But on this side of my head, we have the main choice Pickerly Clear Mask. And then on this side of my head, we have the Myo Organics Overnight Moisturizing Conditioner. So I put these in my hair around 10, 10-ish o'clock. And it is about 11, so they are been in my hair for a good 12, 12, almost over 12 hours. And so I'm getting ready to rinse this out so I can st actually style my hair. Um, this overnight hair mask from the Main Choice comes in a 12 fluid ounce bottle. And then this Main Choice conditioner, overnight conditioner, comes in a 12 fluid ounce bottle as well. Um, I feel like most Main Choice hair masks do not come in 12 fluid ounces. I think they originally come in like an eight and it's like the flat one and we always feel like we need more product. The main choice product definitely is a lot thicker than the uh, Myo Organics. It is thicker, it smells a lot better. The Myo Organics really just does not have that much of a smell to it. I did try this product with the rest of the Myo Organics Hawaiian Ginger Moisture RX line, so I will link that so you guys can check that out if you're interested in their other products. Both of them are pretty thick, but the main choice product is definitely a lot thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this deep conditioner, these deep conditioner out, and then I'm going to get back on camera so we can see the final results. We can see how my hair feels, which side did I like better. Okay, so I have rinsed that deep conditioner out, and I can say, like, just overall, they both feel great. So I think what it comes down to is your budget and the quality of ingredients that you want. So if you want quality ingredients and you don't mind paying the pretty much $20 for this main choice pickily player, go ahead and get it. But if you don't want to spend that much money on a deep conditioner then and you don't really necessarily care about quality ingredients then I think the main cho the Myo Organics is the way to go um I'm just I'm looking at the ingredients and for me I think just looking at the ingredients the Myo Organics ingredients is just a turn off for me um, it also has glycerin in it within the first few ingredients and glycerin does make me lose definition quite quickly. Um, it just really bothers me that this is selling as a ginger type line and then ginger is the second to last ingredient. Like, should I not be that bothered by that? I don't know, but I mean, you have avocado oil, you have olive oil, you have grapeseed oil, coconut oil, but then the root oil, ginger root oil, is all the way at the bottom. Like that, to me, is a huge problem where if you look at the ingredients for the main choice, you have pickling pear within the first ingredient. You also have safflower seed oil. Do you have coconut oil? But all these oils are all within the first five ingredients. This does have glycerin in it as well. But glycerin is like the seventh ingredient just for me. I would have to choose the uh, main choice product over it. However, I do think they're both really good deep conditioners. I can see myself repurchasing this Myo Organics deep conditioner. I can see myself repurchasing this deep conditioner. 
I think it all just depends on your budget and the quality of ingredients that you want. I think essentially that's what it comes down to it. None of these are bad deep conditioners. Um, I've never really had a main choice deep conditioner that did not work for me. And this is the second Myo Organics deep conditioner that I tried that I've liked. So I ain't tripping. I like, I like both of the products. I think if I had to choose one over the other, I would choose the pickly pear just because I like that the ingredients that it claims on the bottle is actually at the top of the list. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So you really made it to the end of the video. You the real MVP. But because you made it to the end of the video, I know you like my content. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other uploads. Also, make sure you check out these other two videos that I posted on my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching.